What a fucking nigger. People out there, I know they're gonna try and make these horrible arguments. Whoa, I heard it in Wu Tang. I, uh, Kanye says it. You know what? You're right. But if you want to try and make that that argument in the court of public opinion, <laughs> good luck. <laughs> so we have to talk uh, about this. It's been a controversy all uh, across the YouTubes, and uh, you know, so probably. This will probably affect everyone who makes their living off of YouTube. PewDiePie uh, has gotten in trouble for a recent video game live stream. We have a clip. Let's show you what he said in his own words in the context first. What a fucking nigger. Jeez, oh my god. What the fuck? Sorry, but what the fuck? What a fucking soul. I don't mean that in a bad way. <laughs> All right, okay, so to set this up for people who don't know, who is PewDiePie, most popular YouTuber there is, 57 million subscribers, 177 million views, I think in the last three, eight days, he's more influential than uh, Chris Cuomo in a poncho in the middle of Irma. Uh, <laughs> certainly a lot richer, 15 million in 2016, just off of his videos. Wow. Okay, so um, as someone who is a, a very passionate defender of free speech, I mm -hmm. wanna make sure that we, we don't just gloss over this here, okay? Um, context we've talked about is more important than content, and he, in context, called someone a fucking nigger on a video game live stream with a negative connotation, meant as an insult, and then called him an asshole again. Now, why am I saying this? Because, well, how can you? Well, again, because context matters. Me saying that PewDiePie called someone a fucking nigger is not racist at all. I'm not going to give power no. to the word, of the, oh, oh, no. N word. But in the context uh, in which he said it, Listen, if you, people out there, I know they're gonna try and make these horrible arguments. Whoa, I heard it in Wu-Tang, uh, Kanye says it. You know what, you're right. But if you wanna try and make that, that argument in the court of public opinion, <laughs> good luck, okay? <laughs> Someone will find you hmm. and they will end your career. In the context, put it this way. If I were a black guy playing a video game and a guy said that, I'd be like, ah, you know what, man, come on, that seems, that seems uncalled for. So, yeah. not defending what he said, but I certainly think he has the right to say it. The context here is what makes it so bad. So he has the right to do it, and I wouldn't be at all surprised if sponsors dropped him. Yep, of course. Right? Um, but there's really no sponsor, there's no, there's no direct affiliation, there's no Call of Duty PewDiePie edition. <laughs> but I can understand if I were, for, for example, if nothing but, uh, I don't know, intergalactic Nazi vampires were wearing nothing but louder with Crowder merchandise <laughs> roaming the streets. I'd be like, uh, could you not? Like, you know, I mean, I understand. I can't yeah. tell them, you but I would rather not be associated with yeah, it. You, By the way, it doesn't, doesn't necessarily mean sense. that he's a racist. It just means he was trying to insult somebody. Yeah, I've seen that. People say stupid. things when they're mad. But yeah. again, it, it, here's Horrible. something else that's really important. Uh, before we move on to why we need to separate this, what, in, comment below whether you think... Uh, this was out of line, whether you can see how someone might be upset, whether you can see how a sponsor might not want to be associated with it. Because when people falsely are labeled racists or, 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 or labeled with having made racist statements, we always defend them. I don't think PewDiePie is necessarily racist. I don't think this is indicative. One statement does not mean that somebody is a racist. Right. But I think that this statement taken in its context, in, in its, it's the kind of racism where like, listen, nobody in 2017 who just comes out and calls someone the effing N word. Uh uh, okay, <laughs> so but here's the that. issue. There is an experience issue. Yeah. We've talked about this. Having not done stand-up comedy, having not ever worked with an FCC guidelines, there's a great thing with the internet is that mm -hmm. you know anyone can do anything. Sure. Yeah. But it's also the bathroom wall of society, and it also means people like PewDiePie who just you know they effectively go blah, 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 into a camera. Their influence and their 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 platform vastly exceeds their mm -hmm. experience. He doesn't know where the, listen, when you start doing stand-up early on in a, in a comedy club or sketch comedy and there's a live, you learn really quickly what works and what doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. You learn where that line is and where to back it off. And this is why old media, as they die, they point to incidents like this and try to say, everyone on YouTube is a hack. So right. just coming out and defending- And it wasn't a joke. No, and, no. and it, wasn't it wasn't a joke. joke. It wasn't a joke at all. So just coming out and defending it, saying, ah, oh, it wasn't a big deal, I don't think is the best defense because that reflects poorly on people who are doing semi-professional work on YouTube and who understand context over content. That's my opinion there, but I will absolutely defend his right to say it. Now, we need to separate that, whether you find what he said offensive or not, okay? That's a conversation which needs, absolutely, must be separated from now you see leftists uh, wanting to commit commit gross abuses of the law with false DMCA claims. So in response, let me read this. Sean Vanneman, I think I'm pronouncing that right, creator of Firewatch Game, announced that uh, th that afternoon or evening that he was going to file DMCA takedowns, and he urged others to do the same. So what does that mean? DMCA is basically a copyright claim. Yeah. 
We've dealt with that on this channel quite a bit. False ones, mind you. Mm -hmm. yeah. We've had quite a few. We've never lost. You've seen my lawyer on the program. Yeah. We had Shia LaBeouf mm -hmm. and his buddy did it. Right. We've never, Bob Ross, estate. Uh, who else was it? Was it uh, Viacom? Viacom, Mashable. Mashable. We've one. never yeah. lost. So it happens. It's expensive to fight. We, we've Worth had to it. deal with those. Worth it. But here's the, here's the deal. They're not saying this is a copyright violation. They're urging people to go effectively on a flagging campaign in direct violation with the actual copyright laws. Because here's a good example. Their website specifically gives its users the right to stream the game online. This is what they write in the Q&A. Can I stream this game? Can I make money off of those streams? Yes. We love that people stream and share their experience in the game. You are free to monetize your videos as well. So, Your Honor, these two youths <laughs> started monetizing their video game. <laughs> Let's be movie. really clear here. That is legally binding mm -hmm. when you put that yeah. out publicly. And by the way, the best plug that these games could have, whether the guy says things you like or not, would be to be featured in a PewDiePie video. Oh, he yes. sold so many games because from, from his him. influence. Uh, yeah. By the way, he wasn't playing this game. <laughs> so it's not like the guy came out and say, oh, he's playing my game, he's playing Battleground or something. He wasn't playing Firewatch yeah. game. The graphics were subpar. I don't know. But the point <laughs> is, someone else said, hey, he said something offensive playing someone else's game. And so then right away said he was going to file a DMCA and the video is down. We don't know if that's why it's down. But there's a long history of video game companies giving these channels permission to stream as promotion. Here you go. You have uh, permission from Valve, big company. You have permission from Ubisoft. Huge. Um, so th these, are, these are big deals. And the reason we need to separate whether something is offensive or not versus the law is because that can happen to anyone. Mm -hmm. We have the right to say whatever we want. We don't have the right to be paid to say whatever we want. Right. Now, that being said, there's a different issue where YouTube, if they lie, for example, and say, hey, hey, hey you're not going to be affected because you're not hate speaking, but then they hire the SPLC. So there, there, there are a litany of <laughs> yeah. issues there to get into. But we understand that if we have sponsors, for example, like Prepare with Crowder right mm -hmm. now, yeah. and they say, we don't want to be associated with you, that's not a violation of free speech. Mm -hmm. But when you say we are going to use the law as leverage, even though we know it's not only not in accordance with DMCA guidelines, but it's not even uh, consistent with what we've told people who've gone out and promoted our games, that's where it, we're dealing with a culture of censorship and a culture that is bred from the left. Because what happens if these video games can do that, right? Well, then John Oliver or Samantha B. Oh, the door wide open. They can yeah. come and Anybody do Mashable, Shia LaBeouf. They can yeah. come and weaponize DMCA complaints. And here's the thing, they'll abuse this method. The people who will abuse this method the most are the people who actively try to silence anyone who disagrees with them. Mm. So people, we've seen this from Tariq Nasheed, right up here, yeah, let's bring this up here. He's tried this before. The guy who never showed up on the show. <laughs> <laughs> we say, like you, we say, hey, come on the show today. You come on my show. But it's like got four listeners on a Sunday. <laughs> you scared? No. He actually <laughs> tried this before because someone called on his claim where he said white people invented racism. By the way, there's the quote of him saying white people invented racism. <laughs> so what did he do? He tried to use DMCA claims. You uh, see this yeah. a lot. Mashable. We ran into this where we were criticizing democratic socialism, a video that came from Mashable. Not only were we within fair use, but we were criticizing a video encouraging socialism from a guy at Mashable who was using other clips to refute the ideas of capitalism. So, and, and we've never, <laughs> by the way, actively gone out and filed false DMCA claims. No, no. As a matter of fact, I think I, I think there are video people out there who have full episodes from our channel they've they uploaded, do. which actually is a violation. We're like, ah, okay, yeah. let him keep it. So, the thing is, when you have a a culture, and there are two issues too with YouTube. There's the law, mm -hmm. and then there's how YouTube operates. You know this right. yeah. because you YouTube. can get signed permission from people to appear in your video. You can. You can submit this oh, and and have them on camera giving consent, and then they can go to YouTube and feel like they don't look very good in the video and complain, and YouTube will We've force you to take it down. That wow. very thing happened before. We forced it to take it down, so it's really difficult to navigate these waters. So again, I can't stress this enough. We've got to separate whether you find what PewDiePie did to be offensive, because that's a conversation that I even see some people on the right and the left having. I get it. But separate that from people who are going and trying to actively commit abuses of mm. the law, because guess what? Then it opens the floodgates, and, and the people who will do that the most are the people who actively want to silence voices of dissent, the people who will use the mass flagging, people who are made preferred flaggers, yep. according to YouTube's program, yeah. people who get to define hate speech guidelines. These are the same people who call yours truly and Ben Shapiro a Nazi. Well, if you label everything a Nazi, guess what? Nazis don't get to speak. If you all of a sudden, because you don't like what someone said, even though they've made you millions on video games and you falsely slander someone with a DMCA claim, guess what? 
You can label anyone you disagree with with a DMCA claim. So that is really important. That is why I hate identity politics on the left and the right. When people say, well, what has your constitution gotten you? The law. And this is where it matters. We need to have a Dummy. principled spinal yeah. column here. Yeah. And understanding the law and working within those parameters is something that we have been actively encouraging YouTube to do behind the scenes, and I encourage you to do in front of the scenes. You have the right to say what you want to say. You don't have the right to be paid to do it. And anytime we see people trying to use systemic cultural censorship or fear to try and push you to the brink of self-censorship, we got to speak out against it whether or not uh, the affront was offensive to us personally. Hey, did you like this video? Of course you did. Let's there's something wrong with you. In which case you can comment below. What's your problem with this video? We want to hear from you and we promise you 100% I give you, my word is my bond, will answer every single negative comment. Uh, for those who are normal, you can leave a thumbs up and subscribe.